Good day, it is Stephen Davids and in this video we will continue our series on the quick and easy mask in Blender video and more specifically we will discuss in this section how to use a mask to add color and photo effects to your strips. We will continue then and go to the area where we created our masks and we did create these three masks that we named and we named one mix and the other one leftmost and the other one is right at most. We will now f first add a mask strip to the video sequence editing section and let's go and add a mask and the mask we will use is mix and there is our mask. In order to contrast the mask and its surrounding area we then just uh, add this blend edit strip blend section we select here the alpha over and in the alpha over you can then together with the capacity if we use capacity capacity then contrast the mask inside with the outside this is the way the mask is contrasted the inside of the mask with its outside by moving this here it's a one way and there the opacity is disengaged engage the opacity again you contrast it to the level where the mask's inside is absolutely black and the outside is white and you reduce that contrast by simply moving it up. You use this opacity function together with the color. If you move down with the properties window you will see here the modifier section and in this modifier section we then add a modifier step and then we add the because you want to color the mask we, we, we select here color balance and the color balance that we want to set must be within the parameters of the mask if we select mask here we select the mask that we have and busy out busy working with mix we select this absolute and then we can select the, the color as we want to and make the color that we want and if we select this color here it is basically the color uh, that will be used to contrast the mask and if you can if we will go back and here you will see it's not any more white that we use to contrast the mask with but we use a color layer over our existing video we can change this existing color layer by going down here and uh, perhaps we want to make it blue so it is not anymore the normal or the white that we contrast it but we contrast it over the blue layer and there we go until here it is normal the inside of the mask if we only want to color the area inside the mask we then select here at the windows properties window section the edit strip we go to the blend and there we then select the subtract and if we have subtract then you will see if we move it here uh, the color changes let me just uh, yeah, just engage here if we move it here you will see uh, the color inside the mask and the color of the mask itself changes and the while the outside area stays constant you can if you then also want to you can add then what we have done here uh, and add the mask uh, add strip modifier uh, uh, the mask uh, the mask name is mix that we use at present absolute and we set did set the uh, 
colors but we disengaged the color strip modifying strip and there we have it and uh, you will then see if we change do changes here for example here the inside changes but the outside remains the same if we now want to do the opposite the, the, the end together with the opacity you use it if we now want to do the opposite namely we want to keep the inside of the mask constant for example there's a face you want to uh, emphasize but the face must remain constant and we want to change the outside but we want to use this mask uh, we can create then a inversion mask and to create the inversion mask is we copy this mask that we have here and we rename it mix inversion and one because it's an inversion mask then we s click on the F to save it you see it down under the F it is saved we then go up into the properties panel of the graphic editor and then you will see in the v panel uh, there's a mask layer section and then down under here is opacity and in the opacity we just uh, hit this block white and black and white to inverse it and if you inverse it then we save this inversion mask again save uh, to uh, and we save the inversion mask press F there is saved inversion mask and then we just uh, use the inversion mask add mask mask inversion and there is your inversion mask now same mask but just uh, different and in this case we want to color the out outside then go to the highlight the inversion mask strip go then to the panel here the properties window and in blend select then uh, subtract and if you see now here and we move the around we change the outside if you see what we do now in the first mask we changed the inside of the mask as you can see now we created an inversion of that mask that we use here and we change now the outside of the mask while the inside remains constant thank you very much for watching this video we love constructive comments and criticism please like and share this video